Earnings per share measures how much profit a company generates per common share. All else being equal, higher earnings per share indicates better profitability. It can be used in conjunction with a company's share price to assess its valuation. A high price to earnings ratio is an expensive stock where a low price to earnings ratio is a cheap stock. Let's look at the earnings per share formula. There are different ways to calculate it. Basic earnings per share is net income divided by weighted average shares outstanding. Earnings per share for a company that has preferred shares would be equal to net income minus any preferred dividends that are paid to preferred shareholders divided by weighted average shares outstanding in the period. Let's look at earnings per share in an example. A company has net income of a million and announces a preferred dividend of 250000 The total shares outstanding for the period were 110000 So earnings per share is going to be equal to net income minus preferred dividends divided by weighted average shares, which is $6.82 per share. If the company traded at a 10 times price to earnings per share ratio, its share price would be $68.20. For every single share that an investor owns, they would receive $6.82 of net income. Let's look at the different types of EPS. The examples before were basic earnings per share, but we can also calculate diluted earnings per share, where we take into account the dilutive effect of options, warrants, and other convertible securities that will increase the number of shares outstanding. Remember, if we hold net income constant and increase the number of shares outstanding, earnings per share goes down. Additionally, we can calculate adjusted EPS. This removes any one-time gains or losses and focuses on the core operations of the business and is hence a normalized or adjusted earnings per share. Thank you for joining us for this EPS tutorial.